Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to put your puppers on a leash for this one because every week somebody is getting cancelled and I don't know what's going on. First, it was Dr. Disrespect, right? Then it was Chris Tyson. And just last night, Moist Critical from Penguin Z or Penguin Z from Moist Critical from Charlie, Bruh. whatever you want to say, under a lot of heat because he said that it's perfectly fine for kids to cut their PP. Bruh. Yeah, I'm not even making this up. I'll link you that video. Yeah, he's under a lot of heat and apparently now they are looking to cancel Mr. Beast as well because uh, uh, This is what went down like the video if you think Sunny v2 was right dislike the video if you think he was not right because Sunny v2 if you know you know right because Sunny v2 I got a video that I also want to share with you guys There's a lot of stuff that is going down Okay, because Sunny v2 is one of those guys one of those youtubers that a year ago did say that Chris Tyson is gonna be a massive problem for for Mr. Beast and objectively speaking he was right and check this out Mr. Beast and Chris Tyson discord leaks Mr. Beast allegedly complimenting Chris Tyson's dragon size in Chris's Discord server with miners. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was looking like this, or in fact, I, I I wish I could say psych right now, and I was looking like this, and this is my non-existent dog that uh, that wanna that loves to bite people. He says that this is why I bite people. This is why I'm saying, guys, put your puppers on a leash, man. You don't want dogs biting other people around, okay? So roll this Mr. One. Beast has just been exposed in a viral video, and it is getting bad. So last time we talked about the Chris Tyson situation, where Mr. Beast's childhood friend Chris was exposed for talking to minors in very weird ways and being a PDF file. Harder daddy, please me. Oh, man, this happened all the way back in 2017. 2017, 2018 is dark times, brother. Dark but it times. turns out Jimmy also has plenty of skeletons in his closet. A recent video by Dogpack404 has gone viral titled, I worked for Mr. Beast and he's a fraud, with some serious allegations Holy. made towards Mr. Beast. Some of them include faking his videos, promoting gambling to children, conducting <sighs> illegal lotteries, rigging games and videos which involve millions of dollars in prize money, which is also a crime, nah. not giving out the prizes that he promises, false advertising, contestant almost not this is real or is that one of those mr beast video because i was eh, pump the brakes right because apparently jake franklin is somebody that worked with mr beast he also said jimmy knew about like chris tyson's uh, you know going after the miners and whatnot and then he says he quoted his tweet by saying that called it right and then it's like update the community note has been retracted it has been it's officially been proven that mr beast account in chris servers was actually jimmy donaldson oh, shit. so yeah apparently these leaks are real and disc on milk no he's not his uh dragon isn't big enough and, and i also gotta be very very careful for this one guys we're just covering the news out here because youtube recently has been suppressing videos about mr beast right so that goes to show you uh where they are right i mean they didn't suppress the videos of dr disrespect everybody was making and rightfully so right because of the stuff that was coming out right so people were making videos uh, youtubers were making videos i was making videos everybody was covering the news understandably but i mean with chris tyson dog what the actual hell you know what i mean right like no big outlets has covered the story the way they covered the dr disrespect story dr disrespect got canceled everywhere demonetized by youtube uh, block uh banned by twitch right his uh, uh talent agency dropped him and you guys gotta understand that robert downey jr is in the same or i should say dr disrespect was in the same talent talent agency as robert downey jr oh, shit. i found that out not long ago of course ro not pointing fingers at robert downey jr he's massive he's great he's amazing right but uh just to kind of like bring you and to fill you in with the situation right like how big this has been so fired from there right his own gaming studio fired him nba denounced him nfl denounced him right he got canceled everything everything Right, and what happens to Chris? Well, he's stepping down from uh, Mr. Beast. Uh, yeah, a and Six are making thumbnails like that. Six is going crazy right now. Six is going in ganging. Like, look at that, man. I never thought Mr. Beast would get caught like this. Wow, is this the end of Mr. Beast? Yeah, absolutely not. But you guys gotta understand that videos are definitely getting suppressed on this topic right now. So.
exploitation and, and a whole lot of stuff, right? And the thing is, this video did not even show up in the YouTube search bar there for several days, despite having 200k views, which is seriously suspicious and very much looks like a shadow ban. So let's get into this video, break this down, starting with the allegation that Mr. Beast is faking videos. But also, if, if what we had to film was scripted, you know, because what we do is not scripted, so you have to plan for a bunch of variables that you can't control, blah, blah. If what we did was scripted, holy shit, this stuff would be easy to pump out. Have you ever faked a video? No. But this train track is CGI, these bus wheels are CGI, this explosion is fake, this shredder is CGI, this car is digitally lifted, this pit is fake, this guy is fake, uh, this raccoon is a paid actor, sure, this island costs more than a dollar, this city is not abandoned, these buildings are CGI, but it's not your only way out, you can literally get an Uber to the airport for $20. That's not a lurker, it's just a guy. This whole room is fake, this contestant is an actor, and no, no. What? No! No way! Now, personally, I don't care whether he fakes this video, though. <gasps> Yeah, I, I don't care because most of the YouTube uh, content creators uh, upload fake videos. Especially videos like that, they're scripted. And nothing wrong with that because they're trying to entertain the viewers. At least that's where I'm at. But if they're scamming the viewers, then that's different, right? And of course, if they're telling their viewers that whatever I do is 100% real, from morality standpoint, yeah, like that's bad as well you got to tell your viewers like it's entertainment it's entertainment and that's fine but other than that i don't care whether it's like a fake prank or a real one or this video is real whether he was a paid actor or not but if you're gonna constantly say that not everything i do is 100 percent genuine uh, and it's not then of course like your viewers uh people are gonna feel some way about it though i still don't care enough though but uh but, but i care about this situation that is going down right now like this is absolutely insane that that went down right maybe he was memeing around but of course he should have known better right but wait a for secret it. employee 20 dollars. that's not a lurker it's just a guy. This whole room is fake. This contestant is an actor and a secret employee at Mr. Beast. They haven't got through this fake door twice. This line is scripted. This action is scripted. Uh, in fact, pretty much all the videos with Mac are scripted. Clearly trying to stall Lamo. Looks like clock. The comments were bots. No. <laughs> you did it! Yeah! What we did was scripted. Holy shit, this stuff would be easy to pump out. Okay, so that was a really quick montage of stuff that Mr. Beast is fake. And I think it's pretty obvious to most adults watching that Mr. Beast is faking his videos and he yeah. clearly lies about it because every video has those incredibly high stakes all up into the end. And obviously, Mr. Beast spends millions of dollars on his videos, yeah. so he's not gonna pick somebody who like quits in two minutes or he's not gonna make the challenge end in two minutes. He's purposely going to manipulate the events, manipulate the contestants so that they're not gonna quit halfway and it's gonna be neck and neck all the way up till the end for that retention. Yeah, like, could you, yeah, exactly, right? Like, I, I get that, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, if you wanna hire actors, uh, pay them and uh, you want to make these videos and up the stakes and end the challenge at one second mark perfectly fine i think the reason why he is getting cancelled i guess and no i'm not even i guess this, this is actually the reason okay it is that he claims that the videos are 100 real when people are finding out apparently that it's not uh yeah but even from the very very beginning i didn't think that it was 100 real though you know what I mean? It's like one of those things, you're spending millions of dollars into production of your videos. You definitely want somebody that's not gonna quit halfway, or th that's gonna be good on camera. You know you know what I mean, right? Like that's gonna bring the energy on camera, cause nobody wanna sit there, watch a video with, hello guys, today, I won one million dollars. Thank you, Mr. Beast. All right, okay, bye. You know, nobody want to watch a right. video like that, right? Like, imagine the contestant is like, thank you, Mr. Beast. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the one million. Okay, I'm out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so. Now, the most damning uh, allegation here has to be this guy called Mac, right? So Mac was made out to be this random person that is trying so hard to win these challenges and everyone is emotionally invested in his success. Well, it turns out in reality, he's just a Mr. Beast employee living in a mansion and he purposely stalls out the videos to make it intense. Let's talk about Mac for a second. We will die. Do you understand that? I found public records showing that Mac moved from California to Greenville, North Carolina, where Jimmy is located, back in August 2023, two months before he appeared as a contestant. According to a former Mr. Beast employee, this is around the time when Mac started working full-time on the editing team at Mr. Beast. Also, he didn't just move into any old house, he moved into a million dollar mansion. His 6,000 square foot million dollar mansion comes with a movie. Hey man, get a brother get some uh, two pennies though? Like, what, what a brother gotta do to get two pennies, man? Theater and seven 
seven bathrooms. What are you gonna spend the $800,000 on? I mean, my life's changed now. Yeah, I'm sure that $800,000 is really gonna change your life. Max, this is a nice car. Tell me, where are we right now? Uh, we're in the place that uh, we drove to a few minutes ago. Uh, Mac, let's, uh, let's cut the shit here. What have you been doing for like the last year? A lot of family stuff. What kind of family stuff? Just like, uh, you know, playing catch with my dad, you know. For a year? What do you, how do you make money? <laughs> Okay, so this is pretty much confirmed that Mac is an employee, meaning if he wins or loses a challenge is pre-planned out by Mr. Beast. And Mr. Beast is artificially introducing these stakes in the video, and you might be saying, oh well, he's doing it for entertainment to entertain the viewer, who actually cares? Well, then you shouldn't be saying that your videos aren't fake because yeah, you're lying yeah. to your audience. I, I personally, like, uh, yeah, I mean, tough, uh, yeah guys, uh, welcome, welcome to YouTube. Welcome to content creation. <laughs> Welcome to content creation. Yeah, a lot of uh, kids are gonna be like, <gasps> you know, this is this was my reaction when I found out WWE was fake for the first time. I did not want to believe it, May. I used to be, a, I, as, I mean, right now WWE is getting very, very better, uh, very, very good, and it's getting better, and I love it as well, guys. Let, uh, but but I know it's entertainment. You feel what I'm saying? But back in the days when I first started watching, oh man, you know when they were dropping elbow from the top rock, switching music, tombstone pile driver the undertaker the undertaker man i really thought that was real bro you, you know what i mean it was it was man so a lot of kids but i have those kind of feelings about this situation they better find out very soon that it was fake i mean come on jimmy come on man you should have said it's entertainment or you know what i feel like that when he was saying this Perhaps the videos were real, uh, uh, may or maybe not. Maybe listen, I don't know, man. Somebody gotta do that detective work as well, uh, right? Somebody gotta go back and find out when he said this that it was real. Were his videos also real? Because it could be that back when he said that it was uh, hundred percent real, and, and Slickers are showing videos from today when it's not real. Uh, it, you feel what I'm saying? And this leads to several other ethical issues because when you introduce contestants that you aren't paying, right? And you get together sort of random people or YouTubers who are not part of your bullshit pre-decided scheme, then they are actually getting tricked because they're going into these challenges thinking they can actually win a million dollars, but yeah, they yeah, can't yeah. because you're controlling everything behind the scenes and the odds are not fair and are heavily stacked. Okay, on this one, yeah, th this one is pathetic though. The rest of the stuff, I don't necessarily care, but it it's one of those things, right? Like you bring in random people or at least your subscribers in this matter and you already have predetermined who's gonna win essentially right it's not even randomized i mean yeah so basically these people are brought in you're getting their hopes up first of all right they're probably dreaming about it they're probably ready to put put their heart and soul into this one and ultimately it is already has been pre-decided that you're not gonna win so yeah okay on this one yeah i agree in the favor bad, of yeah. one of your friends or one of your employees and shit like that. And yeah, that's obviously messed up. Now, Dogpat goes on to show Mr. Beast even fakes his own challenges, like, you know, being stranded at sea. During this time lapse on the fourth day of seven days stranded at sea, you can clearly see there's no one in the shelter. These are their empty beds. But after a hard cut, magically five people are awake and two of the boys have bright yellow raincoats that they didn't have when it rained on day two. And after standing the whole night completely soaked. You didn't spend the night soaked, Jimmy. You slept on the production yacht. It's ironic because this is one of the videos where they claim that they don't fake things. Oh, oh no, my God. Yeah, be the real channel that doesn't fake things. Uh, in this video, this wink was added in post. In fact, 58 was actually on the far opposite side of the room from 42, and he just didn't hear him. This whole revenge storyline was added. Oh, eh, pump the brakes. Okay, pump the brakes. Yeah, my face cam kind of, uh, yeah, I just want to. So this guy 58, this guy 42, and they actually had an error. He was actually on the far opposite side of the room from 42 and he just didn't hear him. This whole revenge storyline was added in post. Multiple shots show how timers are edited in post. Timers are edited in post. Timers are edited in post. They also manipulated contestants audio in post. So we got 15 minutes. In general, if anything happens last second, it's fake. Or if you can hear someone's voice but can't. Uh, thank you for subscribing, appreciate it. Yeah, why is always like at the end? <laughs> of course, I know it's to add more stakes and people do enjoy content a lot more. For example, like, because you wanna know, right? You wanna stay, stay till the end. You wanna know what happened, what happened. Oh my God, 10 seconds left. I wanna see who's gonna win, oh my God. And if somebody wins at the one, uh, one second mark, right? Like one second away from the countdown, right? If somebody wins then, that hits different 
in comparison to if somebody went one like two minutes before you know what i mean so i understand why he does it i understand why he does it but yeah i guess people are catching up on because he always said it's real 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 and uh yeah can't see their mouth the audio could easily be added in post i literally think i'm gonna kill okay so this is pretty good evidence that he's found and honestly i'm okay with the cgi and stuff i understand you need that for visuals but making people say things that they didn't say that is just completely fake and you know editing timers and stuff i mean you can do that or whatever if it's a tv show and stuff but don't say it's real then and faking your own challenges is obviously just pathetic because you know when mr beast would uh, supposedly spend 24 hours or 72 hours buried underground or whatever i had a little hope in my heart that okay you know that's crazy right because personally i don't care whether he fakes it or not uh right the, the, and i don't care whether he calls it entertainment or real i don't i really don't care about it i don't care about it but i guess it, it's uh really really uh, getting to the point where now people are like okay people have seen this crap right so people are investigating like other stuff as well so it's like a rabbit hole people are digging up rabbit a rabbit hole right and rabbit holes right now and, and everything is coming out uh, yeah th this is a thing that i personally care about like i want to know if he was joking around or not i mean even if he was joking around not okay but but yeah right like at least those are real right and mr beast was so insistent that they were all real but i remember in the back of my head i was like oh mr beast is such a busy person such a ceo hyper optimizing everything and he's gonna spend three days buried underground or some stupid seven shit days, so seven days. obviously i was right there and these challenges aren't real he's probably just you know filming that part instantly getting out chilling outside or whatever but i'm surprised that everybody has gone on with it like all these friends and all these employees not one person had a peep out of them maybe yeah probably NDA. they probably sign NDA. absolutely he's making them sign ndas or whatever there but we go. i'm surprised it actually took this long and i knew he'd be exposed by somebody close to him like a former employee but um yeah man this is the downfall of mr b starting right now i mean it's not like he's ever rigged the results of a challenge that would be impossible because he films with hundreds of random subscribers right Wrong. Let's look at this video. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. So many people had jobs. Oh, that contestant had to get out for her job? I guess you forgot she's your hiring manager. I actually recognize a lot of people in this video, including Jimmy's own girlfriend. So yeah, the random subscribers you see in challenges are actually never random. They're almost always local to Mr. Beast and oftentimes friends and family of Mr. Beast employees or just the employees themselves. And when they do pull someone from outside of North Carolina, it's usually somebody who's in the industry, who's camera trained, who has built a following. Mr. Beast on his way to donate 500K to his rich and famous friends. Now listen, he has done a lot of good stuff as well and he, he makes uh, good videos as well. Uh, but it's one of those things, right? Once uh, people catches uh, one of your thing that's been i, I guess like when we're, this is a prime example right so people are figuring out that the videos are not real and you see how more pegasus and he's not wrong though but you have seen him talk about i spent seven days buried uh, alive or buried underground right or something like that so people are naturally asking questions so hey was that fake what if that was real okay i, I don't believe it but just to make uh, make a point right just to just to argue uh, for the sake of it like what if it if that was real uh, and the, the recent videos are not so people are gonna question the last videos uh, uh, previous videos as well and what's even worse is that the results of this video were completely scripted according to a former mr beast employee it would have been a pr problem if the boys had won by a lot and because so many of the female contestants were mr beast employees who got out immediately production stepped in to actually make the results of the challenge closer I holy crap oh, what the actual hell no so you're saying that like okay let me say psych right now so you're saying that a lot of the girls uh, pulled out right and they peaced out and the boys were winning by like insane number right but they had to then fake it so it wouldn't look bad for the for the actual girls
<laughs> that that's oh man oh man that is wild. Uh, you can actually see some of this happen on camera like when jimmy pays one of the boys ten thousand dollars to leave which is twice as much as the actual prize money all right so essentially everything is fabricated see the problem here is that this stuff is borderline illegal because you know what if i'm one of the contestants that actually wasn't bought and paid for right i imagine at least one out of these 100 person is like an actual real person here right and not just uh, friends and family so what if i'm here spending three days and nights here trying to win some money and I'm taking a break from work or whatever, and then I get eliminated and I'm like, oh damn, I didn't win. But then I realize after watching this video that the other 90% of the contestants are just your friends, your girlfriend, your whatever the heck, and they were going to win anyways. And you're scamming the legit people who came there to win some money. Yeah. That is some really scummy behavior. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, gotta, I gotta take the L here, guys. You guys remember Rosanna Pansino? She was this YouTuber who has been Ooh, calling yeah. out Mr. Beast on Twitter yeah, yeah, yeah. for faking his hide and seek challenge yeah, and um, yeah, she yeah. essentially said that yeah. she was supposed to place maybe like second place in the hide and seek or something like that and you know everyone was like oh you're being petty who cares who actually cares right and i even criticized her before but uh after looking into it a little bit more she was right if she thought she could actually you know win some money there or thought it was legit and mr beast was rigging the results or whatever somebody actually broke the rules of the challenge and stuff and uh, they weren't called out, but she was actually uh, eliminated. And I've defended Daniel. him a lot of times against people who would criticize his... Yeah, I remember when that drama was going on over on Twitter. Even I thought that was petty, though. I didn't make a video on it, but but I, I was like, ah, come on, man. Like, who cares, right? Who cares? But mm, I think she had a point, though. I think she was right. See, now we're in this category that... Uh, now we're in this territory, I should say. Chris Tyson got caught. So Sekas are going back and digging up his past right now. And, and this video gets made as well, which is not necessarily about Chris Tyson, but it's more like, hey, Mr. Beast fake video. So you see like all of a sudden everything is coming from both sides right now. Yeah, personally, like I don't care whether he fakes his videos, but this is uh, one of the, it's one of those things, right? Like you're, you're getting your subscribers, uh, random subscribers, random people uh, showing up on your show. You're giving them this false hope, this false narrative, this false promise that they can win. But at the end, they don't. At the end, uh, it's like, it's his friend that's gonna win. It, it, and nothing wrong with if you wanted to make a video dedicated uh, to YouTubers and your friends. Yeah, friends and family make videos with that. Yeah, uh, and at the end, they win. That's beautiful, right? You're giving away something to your friends and families uh, that strengthens the bond you also got it on video so that's like memories and on on top people that love that type of content they're gonna watch your content and you know what it's uh, good all around but of course when you bring in your subscribers and you uh, claim it that it's all random 100% authentic 100% real then and when you get caught people are gonna feel some way about it and th this is the only thing that i find it uh like yeah bro like you shouldn't have been doing that so charity and stuff but there is just overwhelming evidence now that shows jimmy is shady as f so i'm gonna apologize i'm sorry rosanna but anyways moving on to mr beast's real-time video which i knew what like that was the instant one where i was texting people like this is fake this, like there's no way this is a real-time video meaning that time elapses the same in the video as it does in real life now immediately the intro is sped up <laughs> And the timer is clearly added in post, and he clearly touches the laser here, but whatever, <laughs> let's assume that it's all real time. When he reaches the bottom floor, he has to turn these water valves. Now you can tell that these valves aren't actually connected to anything because the water flows out in an instant, and it happens when he's not even touching the valve. The contestant also goes back to the first valve unaware that anything had happened, and he's still able to spin it. So the valve seems to spin freely and isn't actually connected to the flow of water. So you could assume that producers might be off camera with remote switches to trigger the flow of water. And assuming they've tested this, the producers might know how long it takes for the water to clear out of the room. So they could sort of decide on the fly how many turns of the valve it takes or just when to trigger the water in general to make the results close. And in traditional media, this kind of rigging is actually completely illegal. On any kind of a game show where there is a prize, you have to have somebody that ensures that it's fair. They are out there essentially to make sure that we don't do something that would favor no, one me. player or one tribe. I paid the one guy who knew how to solve them to leave. They came to my area many times and I was in the smallest cupboard. <laughs> okay, so pretty much every video that ends at point zero zero one seconds before finishing and it's like super close obviously it's fake and mr beast has fabricated that for 
you making the video more interesting it, because in reality it would probably end like five minutes before and randomly <laughs> yeah. and that yeah. would just be lame with no tension pretty sure this is this is not following the law so mr beast needs saul goodman asap because if any of these people try decide to that okay so that is crazy so from a morality morality standpoint of course it's bad we talked about it but now it's getting in the uh, in the territory of it's illegal as well that that's insane i did not see that coming I, I i really did not see this mr beast cancellation coming in like that bro that that's crazy that that is crazy of course i'm not saying cancel the guy or anything but you know you know what i mean right but but, but this is also massive as well this is also massive as well so uh, yeah, man, this this is going this is getting hectic out here, bro. To you know, sue Mr. Beast. They are going to win. They are going to win. You can you can prove a lot of this stuff with the evidence this guy's used in this video. So, anyways, moving on to the one bad part of this guy's video. This should probably have been left out. He basically says the uh, banner on Mr. Beast's channel, the subscribe for a cookie, is uh, manipulative, which. And it's a bit of a stretch. Uh, now, as adults, we can recognize that subscribe for a cookie is a joke. Uh, it's not a real offer. But again, Mr. Beast's audience is primarily children who may have authorities in their life that actually use sweet treats or video game detentions as forms of reinforcement. And you aren't born yeah it's like marketing 101 it's like reverse psychology 101 or psychology not even reverse psychology like kids do love sugar though so when when they see like oh my god mr beast is gonna give me a cookie let me go ahead and subscribe yeah so it uh, makes sense but i wouldn't call that a bad thing because every youtuber every shocker shocker everybody on this website is trying to get views and trying to get subs yeah everybody like come on let's be real Let's let's just keep it a hundred percent facts there, and it's not and it's not wrong. It's not wrong. You can make videos on stuff that you enjoy, and if your audience likes it, you're getting views in return. You're getting likes of sub subscribers in return, and you're getting paid. Yeah, it's beautiful though. It is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, follow your dreams, son. Follow your hobbies, boys. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But you you see what we were talking about. One thing becomes uh there's one uh, chris tyson things happens and now seconds are going in crazy right now so seconds are digging up ra and it's like a rabbit hole that is going deeper and deeper and deeper an understanding sarcasm okay just gonna be fair here that is a bit of a weak point but it doesn't invalidate all the other points in this video like some people were saying this guy yeah, has yeah. made a shit ton of good points in this video right i get the yeah. context he's going for because there is a lot of subtle manipulation of children going on here especially with subscribe and you win ten thousand dollars and it's actually just buying a lottery ticket essentially for seven-year-olds pewdiepie has also called this out before uh, keep in mind he's reacting to a no. Darman video, but it applies to the Mr. Beast one as well, which is why Damn. it's edited like that. If you guys want to win a brand new PS5, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. I can't believe people are still doing fucking giveaways. Holy <laughs> shit, it's so annoying. 10 years of YouTube, people are still like buying subs for this shit. So over the next seven days, I'm gonna be giving a thousand random people that subscribe a free Samsung Galaxy S24. How Dark is this legal? I don't get it. All you have to, to do is subscribe to the channel. All you have to do to enter to win one of these phones is subscribe. <laughs> it's a scam. Holy shit. Okay, so PewDiePie is completely right there in saying that it's mostly a scam. The problem with these sort of giveaways is that it's extremely shady and it's never sort of confirmed that who's actually getting all the stuff and it's never properly announced. First off, does he announce on Twitter or like publicly? If he doesn't announce, then of course that's bad. But if he announces, then it's perfectly fine. Mr. Beast is never losing money, all right? He's like making an insane profit every single time when he does one of these, like buy my merch for a chance to win X amount of money. Like the merch sales will always make more money. It's kind of like gambling at the casino. The house never loses, right? Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. always rigged so that yeah. you will be the one who's losing money. For, for those of you who are just joining, if you buy one of our limited edition uh, 40 mil special shirts, we're celebrating 40 million subscribers with a really big video, then we will sign that shirt and some of them will get random prizes like this. 46 mm -hmm. illegal lotteries. These lotteries no. are also run poorly multiple times. They would say something like, buy in the next five minutes for a chance to win. And then seven minutes later go, actually, the newest order in 30 seconds is gonna win. In five minutes, we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna put $1,000 in a random order. Hey, Daryl, don't we owe bro. someone $1,000? We do. Yeah, so 
All right, so the newest order. In 30 seconds, we are going to put $1,000 in your package. We're going to break neutral. I mean, there's just no way they were ever even... Hey, Jimmy, can a brother get two pennies, bruh? Bruh. That's all I'm asking, man. I don't need a thousand. I don't need a milli. I just need my two pennies, bruh. I just need my two pennies. I need my two pennies, man. I need my two pennies. I'm close to losing money on this. Uh, if you're watching and if you're still at watching at this point, comment two pennies. Two pennies, gang. Hashtag two pennies, gang. Rise up. <laughs> Dream. In five hours, they gave away about $50,000 worth of stuff uh, and sold over 50,000 t-shirts. Selling these t-shirts at $42 each, profit margin would be about $22. But even if they were making like $1 per shirt, they would still be fine. Uh, also, by my estimates, only one in every 1,600 orders actually won a prize. And I guarantee he has real-time analytics on his laptop. He knows they make more money every time he says, Oh my God, guys, we're giving away so much stuff. We're not even gonna make a profit. It's insane that he can flip these massively profitable illegal lotteries targeted towards children as a, an act of generosity. Honestly, Man. really good points here. I'm really shocked that actually yeah. took this long for someone to- Yeah, I, I, and I'm a, I'll, I'll be 100% honest with you. I was gonna say, okay, like, I don't necessarily care, but, but that's my point of view and the world doesn't revolve around me, right? So yeah, gonna be fair here. Let's be objective. Of course, uh, kids that are watching, they would be in a different mindset. So me as an adult, you as an adult, if you're watching, if you're a kid watching, you're a kid watching. But uh, uh, if you're an adult watching this, you're probably gonna be like, ah, whatever. I know like, even if I'm like, I'm not gonna win it, right? Like, you know what I mean? So, but, but from, I guess from a kid's perspective, it's like, oh man, if I, you know, buy this or donate or do this do that i can win i can win this and that i totally understand and it's uh, illegal on top so yeah that's uh that's crazy it's crazy to call mr beast out on these things instead of calling him out for charity which is completely idiotic this is the sort of stuff we need to be talking about because this is somehow getting past the legality, right? Because this is on YouTube and all of the stuff he's doing is pretty much illegal if he was doing it on TV or traditional media. Even on YouTube, it's a weird gray line, okay? So- I Oh man, I don't want another adpocalypse on YouTube, bro. You remember when adpocalypse happened? It happened uh, because of PewDiePie, okay? It, it, I'm not trying to blame him for that. But it happened because he said the n-word on the bridge, right? Those of you who know, you know, right? So that happened. He did apologize afterward. He did apologize and his apology felt genuine to me. But if you're a black homie watching, if you're my black homie watching this, it's up to you if you want to forgive him or not. That's between him and the black community. I'm personally brown. I'm from Pakistan. I'm ethnically brown, okay? A lot of people don't believe it, but uh, I'm ethnically brown and not necessarily, uh, yeah, not necessarily racially brown, but ethnically, okay? That's my, yeah. <laughs> that's my thing, okay? But, no, but I am, I am. Of course, I'm joking around with it, but I am. So, uh, but here's the thing. So when he said that, uh, adpocalypse, so brands were dropping him and the brands were pulling out from YouTube as well, I believe. And that's when YouTube introduced this new demonetization rule because they needed to convince the investors for uh and they wanted investors coming back because they would lose money and ultimately everybody uh, that would make videos on the uh, on their website would lose money so it was a lose-lose situation for youtubers and also youtube and google at the time so i understood why they did it it could have been better for sure now the system has gotten better but still you know, this Mr. Beast topic is still is in the gray area, right? It still gets censored. And, and right now I'm seeing like a lot of YouTubers say that their videos are getting age gated as well, demonetized, suppressed. Uh, we saw one example in earlier on in this video as well. And that's true. So they are protecting their golden boy. Uh, and, and I think that's wrong. That That is that is definitely wrong. Let me know your thoughts on the situation. And this is that Penguin Z Charlie video. A lot of drama just went down. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. So he said it's perfectly fine for the kids to cut their PPs though. He said that check it out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.